action needs to return to being for African American descendants of slaves only. Over the years, affirmative action has been misappropriated for people that are not African American descendants of slaves. Affirmative action has been used for Africans, white women, people from the Caribbean, Caribbean, people south of the border, South America, etc. And in the 1960s, LBJ gave a speech at Howard University stating the importance of affirmative action and having affirmative action in place to make up for being boxed out of wealth. African Americans, descendants of slaves, being boxed out of wealth. But freedom is not enough. You do not wipe away the scars of centuries by saying now, you are free to go where you want and do as you desire and choose the leaders you please. You do not take a person who for years has been hobbled by chains and liberate him, bringing up to the starting line of a race and then say, you are free to compete with all the others and still justly believe that you have been completely fair. Thus, it is not enough just to open the gates of opportunity. All our citizens must have the ability to walk through those gates. And this is the next and the more profound stage of the battle for civil rights. We seek not just freedom, but opportunity. We seek not just legal equity, but human ability. Not just equality as a right and a theory, but equality as a fact and equality as a result. Affirmative action serves a major purpose, but yet, over time, has been used as a form of inclusion, including other people that feel they're not getting a fair shake. And that's wrong. That's something separate. If you want inclusion, you can have that as a separate piece of the general white male's pie, be it at colleges, be it at places of employment. But affirmative action is not inclusion. That's what people that descended from slavery, U.S. slavery, colonial slavery, etc. For that type of thing, African Americans. And the reason why it's important, especially nowadays, where black people have doubled the unemployment of everybody else, for the most part. Double white unemployment. More unemployment than people... Um, let, from let you know Latino Latinos that's an issue definitely more than people from Asian descent and something has to be done and one piece of that pie is restoring affirmative action now the reason why you need it is because you deal with a lot of cronyism still in these workplaces now you know still in these days and if people have a chance not to hire black, especially African American descendants of slaves, they're not going to hire you. They they don't necessarily need the best talent. They just need good enough talent. If they're cronies, the people in their circle, and the people they know, and the people they like to be around, fit the bill. That's it. You left out as being black because you're not necessarily in those circles. Affirmative action at least forces you into those circles to a degree. So especially when it comes to opportunities for employment and for you to employ other um, African Americans fairly, affirmative action is important. Now, when it comes to colleges, affirmative action is misappropriated. A lot of it goes to white women and even some of it goes to Africans. But Africans have a different lineage than 
the African American descendant of slave. They should not be part of affirmative action at all. Just because you're black doesn't mean that African American descendant is a slave. That's a difference. But colleges like to use that to say, hey, we got these black people and they can bring more from these other countries and say, hey, you know, look, look at how you know great they're doing. And a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them do come from a uh, better off, more of a priv privileged position where there is a social hierarchy from which they come from. When the United States, being black is pretty much you being at the lower social economic scale. In other countries, say somewhere in Africa, the people that hold them back tend to be black. They look just like them, and they have to deal with class structure. And they probably have maids and butlers, etc. But in the United States, African American descendants of slaves were those maids and those butlers. Your race in the United States puts you at the lower social economic scale. Not that there's anything wrong with being a maid or a butler. But the way it was done in the United States, you forced into that as a sort of a, you know, plebeian, a peasant, not worthy of anything else. That needs to be corrected. So, college admissions make sure they're descendants of slaves towards front of action. Have something separate for inclusion if you want people from overseas, if you want white women, or you just want any other kind of minority that's not African American. Give them a separate piece over there. Don't touch the African American 15% in the workplace or in colleges. It's very important that we have these opportunities. And that's just one small piece of the puzzle for having opportunities and for getting our wealth and dignity back. Affirmative action is one piece, equal pay is another piece. Reparations is another piece. Criminal justice reform is another piece. But affirmative action is still important and it wasn't completed to where black people had those opportunities and could move up the ladder in these corporations, in these workplaces, so they could have a less biased opinion, a less biased, you know, towards. Um, you know certain people and uh, you know be bi being biased against black people so you can have some African Americans in certain positions that they won't be racist necessarily towards black people and can make sure black people are brought into these workplaces and these universities that's very very important because the United States may be in black something <laughs> They made the United States made it about race, you know, and said made it race where they say, hey, you know, people that look like you. I mean, what does that what does that even mean? I got a nose, mouth, ears. I can re reproduce with people of different races, so we're all human. But this is, it was the white supremacy and the racism that made race an issue, that made it a thing. We all humans, we the same, eat the same food, breathe the same air. So, when race is put out there to, to hold you back, you have to correct it in a manner that treats the specific issue. That's the number one thing that you have to remember when you're trying to correct things that happen to black people. Treat black people's issues specifically. The rising tide isn't going to lift up lift our boat. It doesn't lift the boat. So remember, return affirmative action back to African American descendants of slaves is very important. Very important in jobs and education. Alright. Iceberg Jim Mel. Deuces.